Welcome back to the big board. <coughs> I apologize if I sound a little out of breath. Uh, sometimes up in this altitude, the, um, the thinness of the air activates my asthma and uh, I was outside being fairly active and it's kind of kicked in a little bit, which hasn't done for many a decade. Nevertheless, I wanted to do a little update on Alexander the Great, the Diodoci model, just for all the people who like to know exactly what we're looking at. It's the Great Battles of History, and it's uh, some scenario <clears throat> set in the, the post-Alexandrian period. If you go look at the other, the other modules, uh, the other videos to tell you uh, more about it. In fact, I'm going to write up a little story about this because uh, we've, we've conducted one battle with Eumenes before, and in fact, it may be against Antigonus. I'm not sure. But nevertheless, Paretacine, para, I believe, is the uh, battle name, 317 BC. Okay, that was a long introduction. Let's kind of get this going because, <clears throat> like I said, I'm short on breath. So with, with all the activations that went on, the elephants uh, pressed in on the uh, phalanxes and the hoplite heavy infantry, did some pretty decent damage, but overall... They were, they were able to be, that, that was able to be remedied, but the combination of the elephant unit and the, uh, the single hex phalanxes, one of these here is supposed to be the silver shields. Um, <clears throat> I forget exactly which one. I think it's this guy here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's got an eight. That's him. So they're you know super duper. Uh, they pressed in and forced, uh, forced the uh, uh, routing of these double-stacked uh, uh, hoplites. And typically, they're not allowed to double-stack, but based on the scenario rules, this is what, how you set up. <clears throat> and I was a little unclear in terms of breaking or, or routing when the, the top unit routes. Does that also make the bottom unit route? Uh, I did it both ways. <laughs> I did it uh, one way, then the other way. Um, in any case, it all worked out poorly for for these phalanxes, but they uh, the leader here won the initiative after this guy failed to get a third activation. Uh, <clears throat> this guy went next. Uh, he's a four-rated guy. He won the roll-off for the fours. So he immediately ducked back and rallied uh, three of the four units and then uh, kind of did did his best from there. So that kind of stabilized to a you know very limited extent. These should actually be flipped over. <coughs> Doesn't really matter because we're mostly done here now. Um, that stabilized that section of the the battlefield, <coughs> and then it was all going to come down to uh, could with the with the losses that had occurred here. Could I get this four rated leader to move his forces up quick enough and start hitting these guys? so that these chaps could take advantage of the damage that these guys had already suffered due to the um, the elephants. <clears throat> but by craftily using this four-rated leader, who was looking after uh, the uh, Antigonus's elephants, he uh, took hits off these guys and helped them stabilize. The battle then moved over to this side and we got lucky in that uh, Antigonus got a couple of act he, he trumped and then got his activations in. We chewed up a couple of uh, cavalry units. We knocked out a heavy cav. There was a hoplite unit askew here that we attacked on the flank and eliminated it because uh, we got double damage for, for the flank attack. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then that allowed us with uh, the next activation of this chappie, who was a five rate, uh, we're now into the five rated units. He had two activations and he routed another unit. Now, uh, I haven't checked, but I'm assuming it's still the same old rule where phalanxes count double for route points. So it's 14 per. Those attacks over there all went really well. That drove the route point count up uh, he lost three phalanxes, 21 points, okay? Actually, more than that. <clears throat> what am I saying? 
30, 30, uh, 32. Yeah, whatever. A lot, 4, 8, 12, 42, sorry. <laughs> uh, points. So that that's almost broken the army. Now, all we needed to do then, uh, as these activations occurred over here, since we were doing the five rated units, I activated this guy. One activation, <clears throat> I did a... Uh, uh, hit and run on uh, a heavy cab unit here, put one additional point on him, then used two lances. He was already engaged, used two lances to uh, flank attack, rear attack, uh, and eliminated that heavy cab unit. That popped the Eumenian <laughs> army over to uh, 94 route points. That's pretty much game. The route point limit is 90. <clears throat> Now, although it doesn't look like it was close uh, based on the route point count because these guys are down at 27 and then this is 94, the losses were very close. If these guys had have routed off or not rallied, you know, there's uh, 28, 30, 42, uh, and another 50, another 50 uh, 54 there, right? So that would have been the battle right there. But this guy managed to rally all of these guys except for this dude, which may, you know, which may end up uh, coming off the board. So very, very tight, close battle. Uh, the, the swings and roundabouts with losing these types of double, double hex units is pretty significant. Anyway, that's the battle. Uh, <clears throat> the, the flanking uh, uh, refused flanks of both sides really didn't get into the fight at all. Uh, I came down to a big swirling cavalry battle here and the realization that uh, these peltists are very deadly against cavalry. Cavalry don't want to charge those guys head on. Uh, can get very nasty very quickly. And you can see these two, two uh, rallied uh, cav units uh, suffered the, the, for their arrogance attacking here. So once again, another fantastic battle. Uh, it's a one and a half mapper. <coughs> Excuse me. Very exciting. Lots of different strategies and tactics could have been, uh, could have been employed here. I probably wasn't aggressive enough with uh, Eumenes Cavalry over here. And uh, if I play this again, I would absolutely drive in here pretty hard. And also note that this is not a river, right? Uh, that's uh, ignored for terrain purposes. All right, there you go. Talk to you soon. Ciao.